Welcome to Maestro MSD Kitchen again. And how are we doing today? I hope fine. Okay, uh, today's video is going to be on uh, fish head soup. So, let's begin. So, uh, these are going to be my fish head soup ingredients. We got our coconut oil over here, but this is the processed coconut oil. This is the uh, refined, it says here. Notice the color is red. I don't like this color, but it's only I'm going to use a teaspoon. So that's, 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 I guess we could get away with that. And uh, they ran out of the, uh, the cold pressed coconut oil. So let's move on. We got our garlic powder, onion powder black pepper powder and some scotch bonnet pepper sauce about a teaspoon tablespoon would be even better and I got my Himalayan pink salt which we're gonna add about a two tablespoon and we have over here our fish head and fish parts we got our whole scotch bonnet pepper or thyme seasoning or scallion onion and then our food food is a uh, carrot uh, pumpkin sweet potato and two finger banana let's not forget the garlic but that's gonna come last because I usually put the garlic in there the last two minutes of boiling or sometimes not even in boiling it just you know when it, the soup is finished made then I just throw the uh, garlic in there uh, and it works out better that way you still get some of the allicin out of the garlic which is what our body really needs okay so let's move on And uh, let's get started with preparing our stuff for the uh, fish head soup. And uh, I'm gonna take the leaves off from the uh, scallion that is already, you know being dried up or discolored and then we're gonna rinse I like to rinse with warm water in this case uh, okay oh yeah alright so a funny thing happened with my uh, light, I think my bulb blew, and so I had to go and fire up the, my backup lighting system. So here we are, back at it, cleaning this skeleton, and getting it ready. finish with taking the uh, bad leaves off so as you could see you could wash first and remove the bad parts after or you could go vice versa whichever way it suits you it's fine okay so that's our skeleton 
scallion and then I put it in this bowl and let's do the bell peppers which I went and got and add to the uh, list of things off camera <laughs> too fine but this is the way I like to prepare my bell pepper and uh, seasoning vegetables for onions trying to do this as quick as I possibly can Because the onion is going to start attacking my eye, my eyes, and burning. And I don't think there's anybody on the planet that likes that. Talking about pepper spray. <laughs> How about some onion spray? That would get you working. Yeah, this onion is tight. Ooh. Don't want to be, don't want to be touched, handled. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the food, and here is our clean. Banana. Start with cutting the ends off and then starts peeling it like this. Remove the skin. Oh, that onion is. Break time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you have a choice. You could Cook the banana with the skin on, or you could peel it. You could also cook it with the skin on, and then after it's cooked, then you peel it. Or if you are a person that you want to eat the banana, green banana, with the skin on after it's cooked, you could also go that route. So, it's choices. Whatever is better for you. Okay. So this is how we prepare our green banana for the soup. And then cut here, here. Don't want to cut them too small because if you overcook, the banana is going to fall apart in the pot. Alright, since the carrots is ready, let's just go ahead and prepare our carrot soup. Little 
rinse. Okay. And the other one. Okay. Rinse again. Let a rinse won't hurt. And yes, the onion has dissipated, so I could return back in this area and continue preparing my food for the fish head soup. And by the way, did I say in the introduction that this is how we prepare fish head soup. Maestro MSD style. I hope I did. In any case, I just did again if I if I did. And if I didn't, well now you just heard it. I mean just hear it. <laughs> uh, Yeah, you gotta be very careful with cutting and the knife and all of that stuff because if you're not careful, one could easily injure themselves. So we gotta guts this out a little, get rid of the seeds. Although some people doing uh, preparing pumpkin, they just go ahead, seed, skin and all, just cook everything. Everything is all soft. Let's eat. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like to move my seat, so. Oh, that's what we're doing here. See? Okay. And then, to give my soup some thickness, I remove the skin of the pumpkin like this. Most of it if I want, or some of it, or all of it, it depends on how I feel. I want to do it. And yes, pumpkin is also one of the cancer curing agent that was created by the creator to help keep us health, healthy. Okay, now make small pieces. And yeah, the pumpkin too is another uh, food that falls apart in the soup. It gets real smashed out or whatever uh, you want to call it. It just gets real. It, so it, it really helps to make body to the soup. And to me, it doesn't even, it doesn't have a taste. It's almost like eating avocado. No taste. But they all have taste. It's just that we are so entwined into this sweet and sour. If sweet and sour or bitter, then it's taste. If you don't have none of that, then to us it's like, oh, it's no taste. Anyway, so this is how we're going to go ahead and cut the skin in fine pieces. So I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to finish up off camera. Yeah, so as I'm about finished slicing and dicing my uh, pumpkin skin to help give my uh, body, my uh, fish head soup some body and I'll go ahead and put it in it in this bowl 
And the same I'm going to do with my sweet pepper. I'm going to remove the skin, then I'm going to cut it up, the skin real small, and, and then use it to create body in my fish head soup. Okay, so let's get all this. Running away. And with my thrusty peeler, oh my god, I lost the cover. I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling. My sweet potato, like so. And then, after, this is such a nice peeler. It's the best potato skin peeler or food skin peeler all my life. I was using the other type, which I don't remember the make curve's name, but this is so easy, so easier. Alright, now that's done. Move this to the side. And Oh, I could just hear the pot boiling up over there saying, I'm ready. We just about finished the preparation so we could go ahead and uh, put the stuff in the, in the pot to boil for uh, 35 minutes and then fish head soup is ready. Yeah, and it's, it's easier to use a big knife when you got to cut up these big size uh, food. And now, slice and dice up the skin. And you know what they say, the better part of the food is the skin. It has more nutrients than the fleshy part. Isn't that amazing? Okay, I guess you notice that I'm doing this not on a cutting board and I'm doing it on a plate. I don't like using cutting board because you know the, the the knife and the stuff that you're using to cut the food up makes groove and channel into the uh, cutting board <clears throat> and next thing you know you're also cooking wood into your food because you can't see with your eyes but tiny little particles of wood falls into your food from cutting by cutting and then here you go it's what you're eating and if it's not the wood they also have the uh, cutting board that I understand is made out of this type of plastic same scenario so let's move on let's add our fish Okay. 
shape. And then add our food. Oh boy, looks like I'm going to have to add more water. Yeah, and you're probably thinking, oh, he doesn't have that much fish to go with the food. Of course not. I didn't want to have too much fish. In this case, try to minimize my meat intake. So, that's why the fish is only two. And uh, we got so much food. Well, we get the flavor of the fish and we're good. And now it's time to add our powder seasoning. Okay, little coconut oil because I did put some in already off camera. did add some off camera I put a little bit more I think I had put a tablespoon earlier off camera okay so the next my uh, scotch bonnet pepper sauce Okay, that's about a tablespoon and a half. Garlic powder. I better do the hand measuring thing. So as to not over power. And our onion powder. See? about that much I say a tablespoon and a half and then I'm gonna add more water so I put a little bit more because uh, I don't want it to you know you're not be able to um, don't taste the uh, the powder seasoning Okay, so that's done. And then the last to have is gonna be uh, our onion, scallion, thyme, and uh, like I said, after it's finished cooking, then we add the garlic. Now that we have our soup boiling for 25 minutes we're gonna go ahead and add the last of our ingredients in the soup for about five minutes And then we'll be finished. Hmm, I could just smell it now. Ooh, oh, you. Ooh. Let's give it a little turn and then let it sit for about five to seven minutes and boil. Look how the uh, pumpkin is smashing away in there. That's nice. So last thing to add is going to be our garlic. I think I need to add a little bit more water because I like the water to be just about a quarter inch or a half inch above the uh, 
the level of the uh, food in the soup. Okay, so full speed ahead. <laughs> now that we are at the end, I have here our, can you see it? Six clove of garlic that we're going to add to the fish head soup and let it sit, let the soup sit and cool while the garlic do their job and we are finished cooking our fish head soup and it looks like it's nice and ready so we're going to move it off the fire because although the, you know the burner is cooling it's going to still be cooking and I don't want to cook anymore because it's past the time of cooking and everything is nice and soft in there except for the garlic so that's where we're at now now this is what our fish head soup looks like I hope you could see it it's still somewhat hot I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a little taste and see what it's like well all this I'm gonna just go ahead and do it off camera but boy oh my god I could smell it it's so good oh yes so Oh, I'm gonna take a little taste. Mm. Oh yes, perfect. So I hope you uh, enjoyed my video on how to make fish head soup. Oh, by the way, from snapper fish. That's what the fish is. So. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.